Hello everyone, it's that college football guy here with another video. Yeah, I told you about the last video when someone's getting in my face and it's coming back out now. Um, we're doing a coaching carousel update here, folks. Um, a video, I did it. Uh, <laughs> talking so fast, can't think straight. There is a coaching move that was made I did mention, as well as one that, uh, as the sun just hits right there, geez, that is being reported by one source. ESPN's running with it. ESPN had a story, took it down. Put it up, took it down. But it's only one source. So I'm putting it down as a rumor in this. But first and foremost, let's get this housekeeping out the way. Everyone, please smash the thumbs up button for me. Helps with the analytics, helps with the algorithm, helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. I love interacting with everyone. And subscribe to the channel. We just crossed 200 subscribers on the way to 300. All right. Now, first thing. I think it was about week 11 of the college football season. And I missed this, and I'm sorry. But uh, Charlotte's, after firing Will Healy earlier in the year, after a 1-7 start, uh, fired him, and they hired Biff Pogge. I'm making this up. To be the new head coach at Charlotte. He was the associate head coach at Michigan, primarily known as a high school head coach. He won multiple state titles in Maryland. Um, very hands-on, very disciplined kind of guy, well-respected, so I think he'll do well at Charlotte. Now, the story that's being reported as a rumor is G.J. Kin, or Kine, I'm not sure how to say his name, K-I-N-N-E. Um, he is being reported by one source, which is a TV station in Austin, and ESPN's running with it. Problem is, they're the only ones who have this information. No one else has it. So I'm calling this a rumor for now, because if I only have one source, not too th thrilled about it. But I'm going to put this rumor out there. Basically, is that he, G, GJ is basically the head coach of Incarnate Word, FCS school. They finished the season 10-1. and one. They're in the FCS playoffs. They put out the word yesterday at about 6 p.m. that he was the target and was going to be the next head coach. And then they took the story down. I looked around to see if any information about it. Nothing. Found the news story from the TV station in Austin. But they're the only ones mentioning anything about this. And then the story came out that it's a five-year deal. No one else has this information. No one else is reporting anything about this. So I'm putting this as the... Hmm, uh, could this be a bit of wishful thinking, maybe? To have... GJ, GJ leave Incarnate Word for Texas State, get in the Sun Belt Conference. I'm going to put it that way for right now until multiple sources come in, because right now it's just one. It's a TV station, and that's it. So that's it for that. Now, I mentioned a little bit about New Mexico State. They had asked for a waiver. They were supposed to play San Jose State, but due to the, the tragic death of a player who... Basically, it was a little bit I knew about, a little bit. He, uh, because of that, San Jose State canceled the game. They were making it up. Well, they wanted a chance to have a chance to get bowl eligible. They're five and six. And at, nobody in FBS level wants to play them. So they're asked the NCAA for a waiver. Can we get a waiver? Normally, you can't be bowl eligible with two FCS opponents in one year. Or more than two FCS. I'm not sure what the rule is, but you can't do that. More than two FCS is in one year, you're automatically disqualified for being bowl eligible. So, or whatever the rule is. But anyway, I think it's more than two. Well, they had two and they were on their scheduling here, but nobody wants to play and we won't be able to make up the game, but nobody will do it. They asked for the waiver. They were granted the waiver. So New Mexico State will be hosting Valparaiso tomorrow. And if Mexico State wins this, the school that has been one of the laughing stocks of college football for the better part of the last two decades will be bowl eligible. Right up there with Kansas and everything else that's gone crazy in college football this year. So, got a new coach at Charlotte. We might have a coach, maybe, big maybe, at Texas State. Nothing heard yet, but we'll see about that. And New Mexico State has a shot at possibly going to a bowl game. So let me know what you down in the comments what you think about this. I'm trying to stay back from the sun because that thing is brutal. Let me know, what you down, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Um, 
you think the coach is on there? Because I I'm, honestly have nothing. Has anybody got anything else besides this TV story coming out of a TV station in Austin about this guy signing? Because I have nobody else saying anything. So let me know down in the comments. Uh, Mexico State getting the waiver. It's tragedy that they didn't get to play. So now they get a chance and they get a chance to do it. If you had the makeup game and you lose to an FCS school, you are never going to hear the end of this. You are never going to hear the end of this. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. As always, please hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, everybody, for watching as I'm trying not to go blind here. Be safe out there. Enjoy your Friday and be good to each other.